What's up everyone, this is Cybernet 86120 and today we have a very special opening for you guys and that is a Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tactical Evolution box opening for you guys. This is also a first edition box too. So yeah, I've been wanting to open up a box for Tactical Evolution for quite a while. Of course with Rainbow Dragon in front of it, I mean you've got to do an opening on this set. And uh, yeah, it just looks so awesome. I remember first pack I ever got of Tactical Evolution getting a Rainbow Dragon being so happy about it. So let's see if we can get one from this box, hopefully. Hopefully that'll happen. I think this was the set two that had, I think it was it and Gladiator's Assault that had a lot of misprints. So maybe we'll get a misprint. I know they did a lot of like the, the rares that had secret rare writing, which uh, sometimes I accidentally miss those, so help me point those out if you happen to see any. But I know there was like Rainbow Dragon, like wouldn't have the name Rainbow Dragon and different things too, so we'll see if we lucky enough to get one of those. And Chaos Neos, I think, was the other one, too, that would have, like, I think it would say Rainbow Dragon on it or something. Let's see. The Venom cards. And then we're starting off with the Elemental Hero Marine Neos, rare. Still kind of annoyed that they didn't make, you know, other forms like this. I would like to have seen, you know, all the different next forms. I think they made one for Glow Moss and, of course, Aqua Dolphin. And it looks like we have an Ultra Rare already, which is a Desert Twister. I always thought he was kind of funny looking. It's like his tongue sticking out and everything. Pretty cool looking card, though. It's where they were trying some different stuff with, like, uh, Earth and Wind monsters to bring him out and stuff. Pretty cool. Chrysalis forms. Oh, we got two of the Golem. Yeah. <laughs> funny how the cards feel different in these, too. Like, they're not as sleek, which I kind of like. We have Fifth Hope. I always really like this card. It's a super rare, and it uh, just looks awesome. With the original heroes, my favorite of uh, the Elemental Heroes on here, and it just looks amazing. I really hope at some point in Arc 5 we're going to see the original main characters, you know, all back and everything, too. Maybe they'll have some new cards. Give us an excuse for more Elemental Heroes or something. That'd be awesome. Phalanx Pike. Then also maybe a new form to Stardust, because you say and everything too. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hoping that's gonna happen. I know it's different dimension and all that with Arc 5, but still. Don't crush my dreams. And we have uh, Aquarian Alyssa for a. Oh, yeah, this is a Gemini monster. Yeah, that's where we started with Gemini monsters and everything. That's still a pretty cool idea. They need to make a few more Geminis. We see them every now and again. I feel like it could, uh, with a few more cards, like they could really be better. That was a cool type of card. And we have a Zombie Master. Now that's a really good one to get too. First edition Super Rare. Another nice card to get. There was great support for zombies, that's for sure. More of the chrysalis cards and everything. We have Trap Reclamation, if I can say the name right. Dang. <laughs> it tongue-tied. Yeah, there we go. Neo Space and Marine Dolphin. The next form to him. Maybe it was uh, Gliders Assault, I think, that had the... Glow Moss next form or, or something. Or Phantom Darkness, I think, actually. But I'm still annoyed they didn't make them for all of them. I think that would have been cool. And Rainbow Dragon! We freaking got Rainbow Dragon! That is awesome! Secret rare and everything in this set. And uh, back then, it was kind of weird for it to be a secret rare for a main card. And stuff, too, because everyone always thinks, well, you have the 10 version of it, because there was a Rainbow Dragon 10 as well. But no, this is actually, of course, as you guys see, they, you could get it from the pack and everything, a secret rare, and that was a weird thing back then. And it, it has to be a secret rare. I mean, Rainbow Dragon looks weird if it's any other rarity anyway, because, uh, I mean, come on. It's got to have that rainbow holographic like a secret rare does, and that is just so epic. I'm glad I got another one. Rainbow Dragon's one of my favorite cards of all time, especially from GX. I really like the Crystal Beast. I'm still waiting for that Crystal Beast support too, Konami. I know at the time, I'm like going to be the day before I upload this, you're going to finally announce it for us, and I'll look funny on that, but uh, <laughs> I want my, my uh, Crystal Beast cards. 
We have Double Summon. Really good rare. There we go. Yeah, seriously. I don't know why we're waiting forever for those... It's like two Pendulum Monsters and two spells on a trap, I think. I know they might not make Crystal Beast Tier 1, but still, I'd like to have the cards. Common Charity. Phantom Cricket. <laughs> that seems funny. And we have uh, Symbols of Duty. And, yeah, last one for the Rat Set. I already got Rainbow Dragon, so I'm happy with this box. Instantly an awesome box. We have a Summoner's Art. Now that, <laughs> that would have been really awesome to get just, uh, what, six months ago? Something like that? <laughs> when it was really expensive there for a while? Maybe, uh, it's probably been a year. Probably longer than six months. Dane Cleefort. <laughs> we have a false, uh, Fossil Tusker. I always thought it was such a weird looking card. The monster on it. It's just a, you know, monster straight from your nightmares, that's all. What's wrong with that? And we have a Chthonian Emperor Dragon. Now that's another really cool Gemini to get. I think it's one of the coolest looking dragons in the game. Still, I'll, I'll even say, even nowadays, I think it's one of the coolest looking. And uh, yeah, that is awesome. That really does look cool. First edition and everything. Ultra Rare. I forgot it was Ultra Rare in this set. So that's, that, like I said, that's one of the coolest looking dragons. Maybe they need to bring back Chthonians. Like, I think there's a handful of them. I, think it, I guess it was Chaz, because he had Chthonian Soldier, but I don't think he ever used the dragon. Maybe that's one of the old archetypes need to bring back, because we keep seeing older cards come back lately. So, maybe that's on their list. A Snake Deity's Command. There we go, make sure it focused. And we have uh, Lucky Pied Piper, Ultimate Rare. Man, we are getting some awesome cards of this. Another Gemini as well. So, like I said, play Geminis, right? Did we already get... Oh, okay, I thought we got like two of the Ambush Fangs <laughs> on that. But, uh, yeah, that is really cool. Ultimate Rares, I'm, I really miss Ultimate Rares. I don't know we can get them out of the tournament pack things or, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But, come on, I miss them out of main sets. I guess it's worth getting a holo per pack nowadays, but, you know... I really liked Ultimate Rares. We have a Grass Chopper. Still quite a few packs left, so... I don't know what else that we can get from this. I don't know if... I think we got pretty much all of our holographics, but we'll see. We have uh, Phantom uh, Dragon Ray Bronto. Another Gemini. Venom Cobra. Venom cards are pretty fun. We have a Spell Reclamation. I've used the Venom cards here and there on Yukio Pro just to be that guy, you know. <laughs> they're pretty annoying actually. If you can get if you can lock down someone with them. They're pretty fun. It's one of those older archetypes that that are fun to go back to. Ocean's Keeper. Well, can't get the cards out of the pack. There we go. I figured it out, don't worry. Ojama Knight. <laughs> I love this one. I want to see more Ojamas. And we have Mirror Gate. Super Rare. There we go. That is, uh, Pretty good card, I think, yeah. Seemed to be one of the supers I always got a bunch of back then. We have three packs left. Another Ojama Knight. I think I got like a playset at least now from the box. 
And we have uh, Elemental Hero Neos Alias. Super rare. Now there we go. Now that's a really good super rare to get. And the Elemental Hero, so automatically awesome. <laughs> what more can you say, right? That is awesome looking. Remember when that went up in price? That's been a long time now. We have Neospatia and Pathfinder. And last pack. What are we in with? I already got my Rainbow Dragons, like I said. I'm happy, but let's see if we can still end with a Hollow. Why not be greedy? You know? <laughs> get a Ghost Black Rose, right? <laughs> That's the next challenge. Try to get a Ghost Black Rose out of a pack where it's not supposed to be. And we have a Damage Equal Reptile. So unfortunately, no Black Rose, right? <laughs> but I don't think we got really any misprints on that one. Like I said, it seems like with Tackle Evolution, that's the set where you have the highest chance to get them in uh, Gliders Assault. But uh, I think we did really well with our box. I definitely can't complain. Getting Rainbow Dragon, I mean, if, even if the only card I got was Rainbow Dragon, I would have been happy with that. I mean, that's just awesome. So, yeah, and also Fifth Hope. Like I said, I just really like that. But yeah, there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this opening. Like I said, I just wanted to open up one of the older boxes. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments what other older boxes you guys want me to open. Also, I was able to get this from Big and Collectible. So be sure to check out link in the description. Really awesome store. And uh, I'm glad I was able to get this box for them. So tell me in the comments too if there's any other boxes you guys want to see. I think I've seen like Dark Crisis a few times people want me to open up. Uh, Spell Ruler or Magic Ruler, I guess. I, I'd like to actually try to get Magic Ruler, you know, before they change the name of it. And uh, some other things, too. So, I mean, just give me some ideas. It doesn't have to be boxes, either. It can be gold series, tin, special editions. You know, just tell me what you guys want to see for future openings. As always, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! open up, whether it's in English or Japanese. And then also always go back to older packs, too. So, whether you're nostalgic for Yu-Gi-Oh! Or if you just want to stay up to date and see the newest openings, be sure to subscribe. Again, thank you guys for watching. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.